But I wanted to show people, let people know, hey, this is the kind of shit we do to our, to our communities. You know, this is the kind of shit we do to our kids. And you wonder why our kids are fucked up. You know. And but it was so, <clears throat> it was such a horrible video. I just had to pull it. I had to pull it. At that point, view, viewership didn't matter to me anymore. It did. <clears throat> Not that it, I don't want viewers to view it. That's the purpose of me doing what I'm doing YouTube in the first place is to have you people hear uh, my perspective on things that's that's on my mind. But in that case, because it was so such a devastatingly uh, graphic video, I I just could not I couldn't bear to, to, to let people watch that anymore because it got to a point where people was just watching just to, just to view see what happened. And it, it to me it was it was it was it was on the macabre, like what they call the the, uh, the macabre. You know, it was just it was, it was going in voyeurism to a point where I just it was like it wasn't like anybody was doing anything about it. So it, what was the point of me showing it if you're not gonna do anything about it anyway? And it was just so sad. I just I could no longer support showing that video on YouTube, at least not from my channel. And I had to pull it. There was a conscious effort on my part to, to, to no longer support that kind of videos on my channel. At least something that, at least, and, and well, there was a couple others I pulled too. One I, I should have pulled was the one by uh, Alton Sterling, who I, that I did post on there. But the only reason I, I even, and I actually had the actual video of him being shot to death, graphically. And the reason why I posted because CNN would not post that video at all. They wouldn't, when they posted it on their sites and all that, but you wouldn't actually see what actually happened because they covered not only his face and they covered the body, but they covered the cop who was doing it. 
I wanted to make sure that you saw all that so you knew those cops' face. Not that I condone violence, because I do not condone violence in any shape or form. But I wanted people to know that these were the guys that did kill that black man for no reason. And they did. But since that time, those officers got off. And I'm so upset about that. You know? And people wonder why I don't smile. You know? I'm not, I mean, I used to have people tell me, oh, why you don't smile sometimes? For what? For what? You know? Well, 70% of the women in, <laughs> in America are 77 black women that are single mothers. 70% of black women are single mothers in this country. 70%. That's ridiculous. When black America has, uh, I think it's like some trillion, three trillion dollars uh, 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 of firepower, and you're wasting on all kind of junk. You know? Well, we could be building wealth collectively. You know? When people jump up for $500 pair of shoes for a young man who hadn't even proven himself as a as a serious baller for the NBA. He hadn't even played one quarter. One minute in one quarter. You know? And people are, are talking about what, try to compare it with uh, uh, Prada and uh, 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 what, Gucci and all of that. Not understanding that Prada and Gucci wasn't made wasn't intended to, to be made for black people. Okay. When black men are killing each other at an alarming rate in this country, and no one's doing or saying anything about it to eradicate it, nobody, you know, and I'm supposed to smile, you know, no, no, no. Now, it's like this morning I heard about uh, a, a, a girl got shot on the a beltway today. I mean, what happened, I think it happened yesterday, but still. But I, it's, just, it's just crazy. This world's fucked up, man. I ain't smiling about nothing right now. I don't have, I mean, you know, when you got a guy who... <laughs> Who calls himself being president with no political experience? And I'm supposed to smile about that? No. I ain't smiling about nothing right now. I'm not happy about the stuff that's going on. I'm really not. You know? I'm losing my happy place. You know? My happy place was for me is just being content about uh, the basics of life. My happy place is, you know, is not there anymore. Don't get me wrong. I still care about people. I still love the Lord. I still love my family. I mean, I'm never going to stop doing that. I still love people in general. But for me, my happy place is seeing people suffer in the world, you know, through wars, through stupid shit like drive-bys. Black people killing each other, but they don't want to call it black on black crime. Um, <clears throat> you know, it is. And uh, uh, I don't know, it's just so much stuff is happening, man. It's, in our communities, has it has yet to be resolved, and we're still living in this fucked up ass system of people still treating us like second class citizens. I got to be honest about it. That's the way I feel about it. You know. I'm not saying I'm not happy with what I have or with what I've been able to do or um, not be uh, I'm, that I'm not happy about the things I can that I've been able to do to help other people. I'm just not happy with the way that things are when it comes to the way things are now as general. You know? I'm really not. I'm seriously not. I'm not. The way we do each other as a race. That I'm definitely not happy about. You know, black women talking about, I'm looking for a good man, yet they can't get their shit together. You know, and I ain't talking about all y'all. Some of y'all I'm talking about, you know who I mean, and I ain't taking it back. You know, people.
people, like I said again, people buying tennis shoes they know damn well they can't afford. You know, they talk about buying somebody else's shoes to make a hustle instead of hustling to build wealth. Get my drift? It's DJ Wolf. I'm out. Thank you.